Excuse you guys. Oh, you look crooked. Let me straighten you up. There you go. Hey, good evening. Good early evening, everyone. This is Miss Gail over here, Georgia Peach Nut Garden. Thank you so much for coming by. <sighs> okay. Y'all heard me sneezing, so it is what it is. I am going to be trying to save some plants that I've left out here too long and they're dying. I'm gonna take it back so you can see what I'm talking about. Yep. Got these over here in the 72 tray, which I have. Let's see, can y'all see that? Yeah, let me bring you closer. Right here. Ooh. Okay. I've taken some out. It's a conglomerate of things. Don't get me started. These are squash and peppers that I have up potted here. They need to go in the garden and beans. Mile of our spinach that won't die. It multiplies. 36 cell. Let's see if you can see it. 36 cell tray of hot peppers, nothing but hot peppers, as you can see, it's coming out of here, it's growing out like the cell. And each cell has about three to four different um, uh, seeds that actually germinated, so it's about a hundred and something in there. More corn right here. These are tomatoes. Push it back so you can see. Tomatoes. Y'all saw me plant this stuff. This is um, all this. You saw me plant. This is um, cabbage. This right here. Cayenne pepper. And this is broccoli and one Brussels sprout that came up. Go on ahead around and up pot it. Tomatoes and some green peppers and red peppers and whatever peppers colors back around to over here where I told you we have some contender beans we have um, early straight net squash need to go into a container and of course we have the infamous Malabar you guys were with me the other day when I came out here about a day ago and I up potted into this container the um, cucumber wanted to see if it would live well guess what in just a matter of 36 hours it's loving it and we have um, cucumbers is already forming I'm trying to find one or two all it needed was some soil here's one right here let me see if I can find my hand oops up too high bring you down here's one right here it's a cucumber and there are several on here that has been pollinated. That's been pollinated. It's been, it was waiting. This right here is, um, and I'm, call, I'm gonna make a mistake because I'm showing stuff that I'm not ready to show. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the name of this plant in a second. I just got to think of it. <laughs> Mor moringa. Is it moringa? Yeah, moringa. I had about three or four of them. I up potted because they needed something long. And you guys saw that video. And there it is. I have one that died. And another one that died, but it's coming back. So these are my moringas. They don't die, they multiply. So we're going to see if we can save some of these plants over here. Um, that I've let sit out here too long. And they are not doing too well but I, I'm just going to see if we can save them what y'all think do we have a green enough thumb my birds are down they're waiting on me to leave <laughs> we're going to start off with this horrible looking cucumber picker bushel now I'm going to drop some more seeds but I just want to see if I can save this there's about three of them in here so, on one of my videos, I talked about putting your best soil in the bottom. 
which is, uh, I'm going to use my box bar and put that in the bottom. And then, I'm going to put our plan in. Right here. I'm going to make a little well so it can go down in here. See, I want it to go down just a little bit further. go and we're just going to pack it in around it and I'm putting the fox farm in up to where the roots the top of the plant is because I want all that goodness to get in there so I'm putting it up to the top of the plant and I'll come back and cut all this stuff off that's going to be draining it once I see that it's taking, um, once I see that it's taking root. And then the rest of the way, I'm going to put some stay green in here on the top. Not a lot, just to be the top soil. And you, you can use what you want to. I'm naming stuff. Don't pay me no attention. Do what you want to do. I just want to see if this is going to come back. It's a shame I let these plants get to this point. But oh well, they did. So we're going to set this one down. And we'll go to the next one. This is a Blue Hubbard squash. And we're going to do the same thing. I have to make sure it has holes in the bottom, and it does. I think I want to put another hole in here, though. Let's see here. Because I want it to have great drainage. Okay, enough of that. So. Oh, I see the beads are back. Great. The thing in my existence. Okay. These are not going to be in here long, but I want them to get established a little bit more. I just want them to get a little bit better established. Then um, I'm going to put them into. Then they're going to a larger container, of course, like a 30 gallon or what have you. Once I see how they're going to do, Got this into right here. Anything else, I just fill it around this soil right here. So now we've already done two. Are we doing all of these? No. <laughs> okay, here's another one. This is the um, Quick Net Early Squash. Actually, two of them. This is one. Really, it's three. So what I'm going to do is see if I can get this to part. Ooh. Um, let me see what's going on here. I'm going to put them both in the same container because there's something going on with the roots. Sure, I have a hole. Yes, I have a hole. So they're both going to go in here right now, and only the strong will survive. Got to take some out. In about maybe two weeks, I will see if they're ready to go into the ground. Sorry about that, y'all. Sinus is a little cuckoo for right now. Now, these squash, you know, they will root up. Even if they're having some issues, they will root up. So, you put some soil around them, and they will root up for you. 
this is a little challenging since there's two, really three in here. It's okay. Okay. Ooh, mosquitoes are trying to get me. Yeah. And then we'll take some of the other soil and put that on top. And we'll just see what happens. That's all we can do. So that's the crook neck early squash. I'm gonna go here. This says old fashioned Goliath, but I think I meant to. We're gonna go, let me show you something. This is gonna look crazy. And I don't know what happened to that one, but y'all see how that look? I'm gonna keep hope alive. I'm just gonna put this in there with that in the roots. Just like that. Let's just see what happens. I messed around here and lost both of those Goliath plants, so I will be dropping seeds for that. So those are the ones that were in the infirmary. We're going to water them in. Let's start with this one. drainage on it so I'm gonna sit it right here and keep an eye on it so here we go with the um, blue Hubbard squash Okay, that one's draining good. And the next one is going to be the cricket, the crick neck early squash. I'm just holding this over this plant so I don't waste water. Sorry, you guys can't see it. This right here. The next one would be the cucumber pick a bushel. Let's see if this one comes back. It's the worst one of, the, uh, of all except for the old Goliath. Let's see if this comes back. That one's got a good drain on it too. Okay, you guys, so we're resuscitating plants, seedlings that are spent. Let's just see how it works out and um, see if we can bring them back. So I just wanted to bring you guys along because I know I'm not the only one who have plants that are uh, seedlings that stayed in their, their seed cells too long. And they start looking like that right there. So let's go on ahead and uh, follow along. And let's just see what happens. So, bring it down. Y'all know you have to be ready for a ride when you come visit with me. These are our seedlings right here. 
that we did. We're going to keep hope alive. And see if we can just bring these babies back to life. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the garden. Tell me if you think they're going to come back. Leave it in the comment. Love you. Bye-bye.